We're on one of our little Zodiac boats, leaving our ship for the first morning. There is Evie. This is our destination. It's one of the Galapagos called Fernandina, Fernandina, named after a king of Spain. Fernandina and Isabella, they were the ones that commissioned Columbus to discover the new world. These rubber rafts are called zodiacs that we're in. That's the vault. It's a volcano that erupted as recently as 1995. <laughs> we're. I was trying to get a shot of this rare Galapagos penguin. These are these volcanic islands. I see there's it's all black dried lava. That's a marine iguana. They used to nest, can you see there? So there are some like lava tubes, some cracks there. It's all so lava. They used to nest on those areas. And in real close in the rocks are these red crabs. Really bright. They're in stereo, but it's you. What? Do you remember that backlit reel? Oh, and the same is up on the back. There's a real good shot of the penguins. Yeah, two penguins for any one and some cracks there. That's good. We're in a boat, so it's a little rocky. And if you see his whistle a little bit up there, they need to warm up, they need to get higher. The Evie, what do you think? Oh, look at the cool. There, there you go. Oh, my God. That's There's two great. marine iguanas up there. It's a lot of hot nut. It's rock. Yeah. Look at that. Look at it. There's one. Two of them. All the white is where the birds have gone to the bathroom on the white, black lava, so it contrasts a lot. Yeah, hard to see. We don't take care of the weekend, it's definitely one of the iguana there. Oh, there's an iguana there. There's the marine iguana. Especially so right now, the tide is going in, it's going up. Yeah. Uh, especially some juveniles, some um, females, marine iguana, they prefer when the tide's very low, so it's a good food because they use this diet. The, uh, this, uh, here's the penguin. Here, this is the main diet for marine iguanas. See the blue feet on these birds? These are the famous blue-footed booby. These guys are probably one of the most famous residents down here. You can really see their blue feet against the black lava. The blue-footed boobies. Right now, just a thing you're right, you know, sure. it's like a little interaction, that's all. The next day is going to be really great. Things so today, so we have to get a good chance to make pictures. This is a heron. Big bird, predator bird, and an iguana right next to him. These, there are 29 species. These are the boobies fishing. Now, watch what they do. They dive bomb into the water. They're going to dive into the water. Yeah, I'm going to try to get them. They look around, they fly around looking for fish, and then they dive bomb into the water. Look at how they move their, their legs for to get propulsion. Look how friendly they are. Look at that. How wonderful. Well, I don't think they're going to cooperate. This is a comorant. I think they call this the flightless comorant, which means he's a bird, but he doesn't fly. He just fishes. Evie, you got a new friend. Who is it? Oh, I see. Andre. He's a sea lion. We've landed on Fernandina. Well, here we are on this volcanic island. These rocks are all black, hardened lava, which means a volcano erupted and it hardened. And this one erupted less than five years ago. Are these in the same? This one's just lying out on, on its back.
Now this is a colony of sea lions, like everywhere you know sea lions, for example, this is a big colony. It's a big colony of colonies. It's hanging out. Oh, they're kissing. <laughs> There's one of the babies up on the shore. noises are they making? They're making worse noises than Daniel Levine does. Is that true? Here comes the baby. Davy's coming over to see Abby. So is this a heron? Joe, what do you think today? This is the oh. one male with two females. Check out these sea lions. It's the marine iguana. He's hanging out with the sea lions. Evie and one of the naturalists are going to get very, very close to a baby sea lion who's just up sunning on the rocks. It's unbelievable how close you can get to it. That baby sea lion just out sunning himself, herself. Lots of crabs nearby. These are these cool Sally Lightfoot crabs that you see everywhere. See this guy's peeking in un under the rock, between these lava rocks. And of course we have our buddies, the marine iguana, again. He's just kind of watching all the action. Handsome devil, isn't he? Yeah, he agrees. Has a big change. Okay, probably so he only saw it because the water is much cooler, that's because I think so the, uh, uh, they have developed a big sizes to keep their temperature, okay? They have very, very, very big size. So here on this area, so they get about 1.2 meters, this one here, so they are quite big, very big, so this, this marine one. Very prehistoric. Uh, look, look at what was and then right over look there, example, when they swim, you got so a sea lion. One, so they, they just, they Incredible. Move. Their tails, just with the tail they get a propulsion, that's because the marine ones, they have this to develop swim. this flat, uh, tails, okay, catch the little flies. Yeah. So that's that's called uh -huh. Oh, Danny, look at that. Uh, Dad, there's a big. Uh, uh, I'm face to face with this guy. That's how close I am. And Evie's right with me, and so is Joe. Sir, or maybe. You want me to take a picture? Would you take a picture? The three of us. The guy will take a Just unbelievable. Yeah, here are the big ones, the green ones, so those are the big males. Right now it's made in season for them, so that's because special, so look at, you can see. The kids got some new friends. <laughs> this is a big guy. 
Watch this. He just scared away the other guy because he was messing with his girlfriend. This is truly survival of the fittest in action. Sally Lightfoot Crab. And another little tiny lizard. This is just amazing. We are right on the equator. And that is a huge volcano. All these islands are volcanic. And we are right on the equator. And it also happens to be December 22nd. Well, here we are on one of the Galapagos Islands um, of Ferdinand. And behind us are the marine iguanas, and they're eating, they feed on the algae behind us. How can you tell it's algae? Because it's green. Yeah, and how about those waves? They can swim, so the, the water doesn't bother them. They're bigger out here, too. They're everywhere. Just tons of them. And they eat the barnacles, too. That's what the brown is. But this is what they're looking for, this green algae. And the crabs eat it too, all these red crabs that we see. Yeah, a nice big... See, these are the red Sally Lightfoot crabs. I know we've said that a few times. And they eat the same food pretty much as these iguanas. And they blend in unbelievably with the rocks. Sometimes you can't even tell there's one there. I'm sitting right next to these guys. The crab and the iguana. They just tell you there's some big waves out here too. We're right on the end of this Fernandina Island. Joe and Abby, just turn around. Okay. All right. Very pretty crabs. Hey, here come the waves. That guy's a little crabby. I think it's your hat, maybe. Just an incredible place. Did you see that wave, Dad? Yeah. Ever got a picture of the wave? She thinks. She thinks. <laughs> well, we just discovered something, Joe and Evie and I, about our sea lion friends out here on these big waves. And that is, they like to surf the big waves. And we're going to try to catch them. Also, there's more iguanas over here. Yeah. In between waves. <laughs> and of course, here's everywhere you go, there's iguanas. They're enjoying the cooler air out here because it's warm today even though it's the first or second day of winter in St. Petersburg it's the second day of summer in the southern hemisphere which means we're below the equator or actually we're right at the equator yeah. so right now we're waiting for the surf to get up 
and for some of the sea lion buddies to uh, swim back out to the uh, surfing area. Come on, guys. There's one now. I mean, like, yeah, right I see there. Him. They're just frolicking around in this cove here because we want them to surf now. Come on, guys. Well, they're playing. They're playing. Come on, Evie, tell them to get out there and surf. Evie went up there. Here they go, here they go. This is it. Yeah. Here they go, they're playing in the waves a little bit. All right, here comes one. Our surfing sea lion buddies. Watch the waves for them. There they go. See one jump over the wave? No, I missed that. Oh. Watch this one. There's the wave. See if we see him in there. I don't see them. Oh, there they go. Yeah. This is a hard thing to do. Come on, guys. There they are. There they go. Here, here goes. Here's a wave. Big enough. Not big enough for there them. They go. They're playing. Oh, I missed them. Jumped that one. Come on, guys. There they go. Did you get that? I think so. Can't see much. Just a few fins sticking out. Oh, here comes one. Here comes a big one. Watch this. They're just like kids playing in the surf at the beach. There they go. There they're jumping more like dolphins now. This shows you the patience it takes to get just the right shot that you see in some of these nature specials. It's like I don't want to run too much tape, but I want to show you this shot. I don't want to give up on it because it's a good shot. And you know the minute I turn the camera off, they go flying up in the air like a SeaWorld show, like Shamu. Right. Having a good old time. Playing around, having a good old time. They're like biting each other or kissing each other and rolling over on each other. Silly. It's funny, now the waves like almost stopped and then they get so big. Wanna meet swimming along the shore? There's some more. They call when they see groups of sea lions, they call them colonies. Yeah. There they go. That's about. They're going against the wave this time. It's funny when they go with the wave, though. That's good enough. Well, anyway, being a sea lion is kind of fun. So, Joe, how was this morning? It was really cool. We saw Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're underway again. Don't come in here, I'm peeing. And we're uh, headed for our next spot for our afternoon Señor sea light viewing. And we'll let you know when we get to the next spot, we're going up to Isabella, which is the biggest island in the Galapagos. Should be some beautiful sights. Stay here till I call you. You're supposed to go to your cabins now.